Hello everybody and welcome back to more shenanigans and sneaky Sasquatch. And we are back to carry on the adventure here and let me tell you all, we have a lot of work to do because in the previous episode we actually spent a lot of money. All of our money has gone into making the town even better and looking better and improving the look of it. And unfortunately, as you guys can see, we only have 26,000 coins left. Now, I'm not quite sure exactly how much coins I have in the bank. Uh, I definitely have to go and check the bank account, but since we are kind of poor right now, I should say, I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to start checking all the possibilities, all the strategies of making money, Sneaky Sasquatch, and explore every single one of them to see which one works best. Uh, we've been playing the game a lot ever since the update has came out, and uh, I've also actually started playing the game from the scratch again, uh, just to see how the game is different if you started up uh, from the scratch with all these updates added to it, and uh, it's just so interesting. So if I place my card in here, how much money do we have in the bank? Uh, bounce inquiry. Ooh, we have 72,000. Interesting. This means we have almost 100,000 coins still. So maybe Sasquatch is not that poor. <laughs> but of course, we are more poor than we used to be. Um, I'm kind of liking the uh, look of the town though. Look at this. Everything is just black and white. That is so cool. Now, one thing that I want to do. Let me make my way to... Actually, this guy doesn't really have that much money. Uh, what if I try to make my way to the island? Do you have any coins that have been stored over here in the safe? Um, not sure. Let's see. We have people staying for seven days, seven days, seven days. Okay, that is not bad. I think I may need to give them some... Actually, they do have still a little bit of food, to be honest. I'm still going to give them a little bit, though. And I think what I'm going to also do, I think I'm going to make my way in the port and try to get ourselves even more coins. Yeah, I definitely have to do that. But oh my God, look at all the money that we're getting. Now, this is definitely one of the best ways to make a lot of money in the game. Uh, just passive income. Simply create the island, bring the duck, activate the duck so that he will bring uh, people uh, for you. Uh, and when I'm saying the duck, I mean this duck at the bottom over here. If you talk with this one and bring it uh, whatever it needs, it will just simply bring people to you. You're not going to have to bring people to the island anymore. And they're going to keep on making you money, which is absolutely amazing. All right. Well, uh, and of course, this one works exactly the same way the other one works uh, with the spaghetti guy, right? So let me get myself a little bit of sleep here. Reset the day. And tomorrow we're going to focus on doing all the missions, uh, all the strategies of getting money in the game. All right, there we go. I knew that has started. Let me get something to eat real fast. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get myself quite a bit of money here. Uh, let's get a chocolate. Let's get these ones. And I'm also going to give uh, Pixel here a little bit of food because I'm pretty sure he needs some. Yep, look at that. And he's also level 16 very soon. I think I'm going to get him to level 16, uh, yeah, by the end of this day. Come on, buddy. We got this. We can get you to level 16. I know we can. And his heart should be to uh, level 16. But let me give him a little bit of food here. And after we're going to be done with feeding Pixel here, we're going to start doing the first, of course, possibility of getting money in the game. Which is the one that's the most easiest one, of course. And the one that's the most evident. And that one is... This one. The bear, of course. Selling all your food to the bear. Is the easiest way to make money in the game. But, of course, the problem is you're not getting that much money, unfortunately. Uh, that's why I do not recommend this one. But just in case you are in a pinch and you need, like, just a few coins there, I guess you can sell all your uh, food to the bear. But other than that, we also have, of course, the duck over here. And if you guys are wondering what duck this is, this is the duck that you're actually saving. Uh, from the lake, right? Because there is a duck that is stranded on the lake, in the middle of the lake. And if you go ahead and save him, apparently, he's just gonna stick around by your house. And uh, you're gonna be able to do some mission with him. Hey Sasquatch, I got a craving today you might be able to help me out with. My tummy is rumbling for eggs, and the only way to fix it is by bringing me some. A weird request though, right? But I know what I like. And I'd be willing to pay you 55 coins if you bring it. But it has to be today only. All right, so apparently this guy needs 55 coins. Uh, not 55 coins. He is going to give me 55 coins. Uh, but Ahito is going to need eggs. So, let me make my way into town. And uh, get some eggs from the supermarket. Why not? Let's just get our car ready here for a hit and run. 
<laughs> so we know that we got a lot of eggs in here and unfortunately we only have two sets of eggs oh man all right that's gonna be 100 coins i guess but we'll add it i'm also gonna fill up my backpack with a lot of other stuff just because why not we need it our backpack is already empty so we need everything that we can find and another strategy that we're gonna go with of course is gonna be the orange selling for the orange guy in the mountain right for the vitamin c guy so let me fill my backpack with vitamins and once i'm gonna make my way to the mountain i'm also gonna sell all this stuff to him there we go got it and lastly of course we just gotta run come on pixel oh no <laughs> i'm leaving pixel behind sorry buddy sorry ah oh, there we go hopefully you're gonna know your place back look at that yeah they don't arrest dogs he's fine don't worry about it since we are in town let me make my way to the gas station because another strategy that we're gonna go for uh as i'm gonna be making my way to the mountain of course to sell the oranges is also gonna be um selling trash food to the bear and i'm not talking about any any type of trash food of course you can sell any type of food to the trash bear by simply putting the food in the trash and selling it to him but um there is better food that you can actually put in the trash to make even more income and that is beef jerky and not only beef jerky, of course, you can also sell the golden fishies by by putting them in the trash. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> god dang it, dude. Oh no! Oh, we also almost got caught. That was so close. Well, um, I guess we're saved. <laughs> Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Let me go ahead and get my uh, vehicle back. I love it that although the cops kind of catch us sometimes and they kick us out of the car, uh, because we do have the fast running shoes, it's very difficult for them to actually catch on to us. Although sometimes I did get caught. So uh, yeah, you gotta pay attention to what you're doing. And while I'm gonna sell the eggs to the duck, I'm also gonna put the beef jerky in the trash and prepare for the uh, sawmill bear. So let's just give this stuff to him. Oh, is that eggs I asked for? Thanks, Sasquatch. This looks delicious. Here's the 55 I promised. Talk to me again tomorrow. Maybe I have another craving. Now, I wonder if I sold both of the eggs or just one. I'm not 100% sure. I guess I'm going to have to check. So if I go into trash here. Yeah, I only sold one of the eggs. Not both of them, unfortunately. So yeah, I didn't make 100 coins there. I only made 55 coins. Uh, nope. That one is going to be needed for the uh, vitamin C guy. This one over here as well. I'm going to leave it in the trash a little bit there. And while we're at it, let me check the news. Actually, the shopping bonanza. What do we got in the shopping bonanza here? Uh, 555, 74, 67. Of course, you could also buy these tomatoes and sell them at a better price. Because I think you're actually getting them at a better price. But, yeah, tomatoes are not going to be a good price. Uh, one time, I actually got myself uh, sea cucumbers in the shopping bonanza. So, that's why you got to pay attention for shopping bonanza. As uh, you might actually get yourself some really awesome things that you can go ahead and sell. Alright, let me make my way then to the trash bear. And I uh, carry out with another strategy of making money, which is actually one of the best strategies of making money in this game. Uh, selling trash food to the bear is definitely the way to go. Alright, there we go. And we have arrived to the sawmill. Now, let me go ahead and get myself the money from the bear by simply selling all this trash food to him. And I'm saying all this trash food, but we only have like three, uh, <laughs> like three, uh, beef jerkies. That's all. But this is just to show you guys all the strategies, all the ways you can make money in this game. And, uh, now that we're done with this one, and since we are at the sawmill, I'm also going to make my way to the uh, golden fish area. Because the golden fish is also worth 400 coins. Every single time you catch it and sell it, that's a lot of money. So yeah, it's definitely worth catching it for sure. Uh, it is uh, worth 200 coins if you're selling it to the normal bear. But selling it to the trash bear is definitely worth so much more. And the thing about the golden fish is that it's kind of spawning in. Um, I think every three days, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, not to mention, look at that, guys. This phone number over here. Need money? Call 191-9124. Uh, the thing is, I already got this uh, chest for by calling this number. But uh, just in case you guys didn't get it, simply drive around and uh, whenever you see that red banner, stop by, 
make note of that phone number, call it, and you're gonna be able to, of course, get yourself some free money. All right, and the golden fish is right over here. Let me try to catch it. Now, I am playing with a controller on the M1 Max, and fishing on the M1 Max with a controller is sometimes glitched, and apparently this fish is glitching the ground. <laughs> I may not be able to actually catch it. Hold up. Let me see if I can get closer to him. All right, there we go. We got him. And thankfully, we caught the fish as well. Awesome. The thing is, we do have the best uh, fishing rod, right? That's why it's apparently working to fish right now. But anyway, we got ourselves a golden fish. Awesome. Next up, let's try to get more strategies of making money in the game by simply going to the mountains since we are in this area, of course. And since we're going to the mountain, there are two ways you can make money in this game. By simply doing the skiing, of course, missions and the Snowball Royale missions. Which we are going to go ahead and do both of them since we are here. And not to mention, of course, you can deliver people uh, with a taxi. As a taxi driver, I should say. Alright, so first of all, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of skiing here. Uh, what time is it? It's 6 p.m. Yeah, I think I'm only going to be able to go ahead and do the scheme because it's a little bit too late. And we are going to have to go to sleep. So let's just go ahead and do one of the events. Which one is going to be paid the most? I mean, all of these are going to be paid the most. The pro ones, right? The pro downhill. Yeah, let's just try it out. I know that these pro missions are not the easiest, though. Because you got to pay attention how much you are... Uh, change the direction of your Sasquatch here to make sure you get the best time possible. So you got to get a lot of speed as you're doing these ones, of course. Almost, almost messed that up. And 28 seconds. Is this good? I don't even know. It's good. Awesome. And we got it. And of course, this is one way to make some money. On the mountain. 200 coins. Not bad. Uh, now, what time is it? It's 8.30, which means I'm not going to be able to do any more missions. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make my way all the way to the top of the mountain. Uh, give some oranges to the uh, vitamin C guy, of course. And tomorrow morning when we wake up, I'm also going to do the um, missions at the bottom as well. Which are going to be... Snowball Royale missions, which I think are kind of my favorite ones to do, to be honest. Just because it feels like you're playing like a multiplayer game. Alright, let's sell this guy the oranges. There we go. I've been up here for too long. My body's aching for some vitamin C. You got any oranges on you? I'll buy many. I'll give you 400 coins for them. There we go. Awesome. So for a full stack of oranges that you get from the supermarket, you're getting 400 coins. Not bad. All right, there we go. Got ourselves some oranges there. Ooh, hold up. Mushroom. As I was saying, guys, collect all the mushrooms you can find. Every single time you find mushrooms, collect them. And look at that. Pixel is level 16. Awesome. Your pizza has acquired a new taste. Chicken nuggets. Awesome. They'll be extra happy if you feed them. That from now on. Okay. I will try. I don't think I have any uh, nuggets on me, though. Uh, so I'm just going to give them... Um this. There you go, buddy. And lastly, come on, I need... Why can't I not feed him again? I need one more. And I'm also gonna do a little bit of petting here. Just to keep on increasing his heart. We gotta get him to at least level 20, hopefully soon. The thing about increasing his heart is that sometimes, as you guys have seen, uh, we are getting, like, uh, nuggets, for example, that are gonna make him happier. But unfortunately, sometimes you're getting um, some downgrades, I should say, because sometimes he's not gonna wanna eat stuff anymore. Uh, or he's gonna poop everywhere if you eat some type of food. So you gotta pay attention. Or more like, you gotta choose if you wanna upgrade him or not. All right, perfect. I got Sasquatch fed here as well. They're gonna have to put that fish in the trash to get it ready for the trash bear as well. But I don't remember having any trash bins around here, if I'm not mistaken. As I was saying, these are my definitely favorite missions to do in the game. I just love playing snowball fights. Alright, and I'm gonna go for, of course, the survival one. This one is the best paid. 300 coins for a match? Not bad at all. All you gotta do, of course, is try to dodge all their heads here. 
uh, which sometimes is not easy at all. Because there's a lot of these dudes chasing you down, trying to hit you. But if you do pay attention and simply zigzag a lot, also make use of these trees like this. Oh god, yep, 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 I got hit once. I got hit once. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> there we go, there we go. We should be good now. Now that I got all of them to be on that side, I should just keep on running and get some distance from them. Oh, God. That was so close. But this is a, a really easy way to get 300 coins, to be honest. And uh, this one, you're getting in 25 seconds, which is not really that bad, to be honest. You could do this one on and on and on quite a couple of times. And this may be a great strategy to make a lot of money in the game. Still, not the best strategy, of course, but it's definitely the one that I consider to be the most fun. All right, there we go. 300 coins added to our backpack. And with this one done, we are completely done at the uh, mountain. Unfortunately, as I was saying, I don't believe we have a trash bin. As I'd love to put a... Um, the golden fish in the trash bin and then go ahead and sell it to the trash bin but as i was saying i'm pretty sure we don't have a trash bin any close by right yeah i'm pretty sure we don't have one close by but uh since we are here let me get this fellow with the taxi oh actually yeah we could take it with the taxi and uh let's just get another strategy of making money in the game i guess come on buddy hop on in uh lumber mill oh, you know what that is really good He's just paying 80, 82 coins, but the great thing about it is that the lumber mill is very close by. Uh, all you gotta do though is pay attention because there might be some crazy drivers. And uh, when you are picking up people and uh, driving them to their destination, if you do do some really uh, nasty curves or hit some other cars and stuff like that, the drivers are gonna be um, getting scared. And... They're not going to pay you the highest amount, and they're also going to remove some of the stars from your ratings. So you got to pay attention how you're driving. Oh, God, that guy almost hit me. What a smooth ride. Yeah, hopefully I'm going to be able to keep on with the smooth ride here. Let me grab the mushrooms. Nope. I want to keep on driving. There we go. Oh, God, there's a car coming behind us. Hopefully it's not going to hit us. All right, he's saying thanks for the ride, but we're not there yet, buddy. Hold up. And that was a perfect ride. Awesome. There we go. Five stars and 82 coins. That's what I'm talking about. All right, perfect. Unfortunately, we don't have a trash bin close by, but uh, that's fine. We're going to be able to put uh, more tr more food in the trash and sell it to the trash bear later on. I'm just going to keep on collecting as many fishes as I can possibly have. Now, I'm not going to be able to do the passive income strategy uh, because that one is already activated. So, that one is still bringing us money. Uh, I'm just going to make my way to those destinations from time to time, I guess. And collect all the money that we're collecting from Spaghetti Guy and our island, of course. For now, let's just make our way to the racetrack. Oh, God. Let's collect some more mushrooms here. And I keep on doing more strategies to collect more money in the game. Actually, before I do that, you know what? Let me make my way to the campground because I may need to get myself some uh, s'mores. Um, and also other food types to give to the people at the racetrack. So let us see here. Let me first of all drive all the way to the top. Let me collect more mushrooms. Here we go. And let us see what type of food people are going to have in their fridges. Alright, uh, hmm, nothing that we need here, but of course, oranges are a great way to make money. So let's just grab these ones. Alright, let's go for the next one. It's going to be this fella, but I don't think this fella has a fridge. Actually, no, he does. Never mind. But unfortunately, nothing that we need. What we need is eggs and bacon. That's what we need. All right, what about in here? Any s'mores? I think if I'm not mistaken, these fellas have s'mores inside here, right? Uh, yep, there is one s'more. And the thing about the s'more is that we're going to have to cook it on a grill. And unfortunately, I do not see any grills around here that we could use. 
All right, let's get out of here then. Come on, puppy. Because what I'm gonna have to do is actually make my way into the campground. All right, let us see. First of all, we have a trash, which means I'm gonna put the uh, fish again. Oh God, if I can find them, he's right over here. I can see his tail. There we go, buddy. Get ready for the trash bear. I also have a mushroom over there I'm gonna have to collect, of course. That is kind of mandatory. All right, so while the fish is getting marinated here, let's put him back in the backpack. Uh, nothing over there because the fire is not on. But I'm gonna grab this. And look at all this food. Awesome. Unfortunately, that is not bacon. I really need some bacon though. Um, no bacon here either. And ooh, we got bacon. Yes, we're gonna have to cook that one on the car, on the car's engine, right? Uh, let me keep on going to the left side. Let's see if we can find at least a grill because I need to do the s'mores on the grill. Um, nope. No grill over here, but we do have some mushrooms we can collect. And unfortunately, no bacon either. All right, let's keep it going. What about this side? Nope, we don't have a grill either. But what about bacon? Oh, we do have two, ba uh, two bacon. Yes, so we have three bacons and eggs. Not bad, actually. Not bad at all. Well, since we are going to the racetrack, let me actually cook all this stuff on my engine, of course, because that's how that dude wants it. And once I'm going to sell it to him, it's going to give me quite a lot of money. Uh, so we got to put the bacon and the eggs on the engine. For the s'mores guy, I guess we're going to have to wait one more day in order to find them. So for now, let me open this up. There we go. Let me get the bacon in. Uh, we got one. Two eggs in here as well, I guess, and this other bacon. Nope, that's not bacon. It's cabbage. There we go. We got the bacon on. Perfect. And look at that. It is cooking. It is getting ready for our buddy at the racetrack. And I think it has to be cooked like really, really well, so I'm not going to even bother about burning it. I'm pretty sure he wants it uh, really, really well done. Look at that, it's already fuming. <laughs> Alright, next step, let me make my way all the way to the top. There we go. And this dude at the uh, bottom there, showing the icon for the money, is going to be the one that's going to eat them. Hopefully, he actually wanted them burned. Hopefully, let's see. Hey, watching races all day makes me hungry. If someone would bring me some bacon and eggs, I would pay top dollars. I love racing so much. If the food were cooked on an engine, I would pay extra. Oh, I can smell you have some. I'd pay 120 for everything you got. Do we have a deal? And there we go, guys. Another strategy to make quite a lot of money in the game as well. Uh, but of course, getting, uh, getting yourself eggs and bacon isn't really an easy way to... Um, get it though unfortunately so i don't think that's a great strategy to make a lot of money but i guess it is a strategy to make money in the game all right next up before i'm gonna do some races because doing races is also a great way to make money in the game i guess let me first of all jump into my racing car there we go get it over here and now let's just do some races of course the mission that's gonna give us the most amount of money is actually this one. The thing about this one is that you gotta do 100 laps, and let me tell you all, 100 laps for 300 coins, it's just way too much. I think it kinda takes about 23 minutes or 25 minutes um, in order to complete all these laps, and it's really, really annoying, so I don't recommend doing it. Instead, I do recommend doing this one. Eight laps, 250 coins, it's also quite a bit, so because of that, I'm gonna go for five laps only. And since we're using the, uh, the supercar, we're actually going to be able to do this one quite fast. And nobody's going to be able to beat us, of course, because these guys don't really have a supercar. So yeah, we're going to be able to finish up this mission in no time.
All right, and we are done. There we go. Awesome. Now, I don't recommend doing these races in order to get a lot of money in the game, to be honest, because it just takes way too long. And the reward is just 150 coins, so definitely not worth it. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, I saw quite a lot of mushrooms. Uh, let me actually, first of all, jump into my monster truck here, because I kind of like riding on the monster truck the most, to be honest. This is definitely my favorite vehicle, and the one that I'm riding the most in Sticky Sasquatch, compared to other vehicles. I know that a supercar is really fast, but that's kind of one of the reasons why I also don't ride it. It's just because it's way too fast, and it's kind of difficult to control. So yeah, I definitely don't do it. All right, there we go. A brandy that has started, it, and this time he's selling... Ooh, tacos! This is actually a great, great sell. So he's selling 20 tacos for only 850. If I'm not mistaken, one taco is 50 coins, right? And the full price for these tacos would actually be 1,000 coins. So I'm only paying 1,000 coins for the price of 850. So yeah, this is also a great way to make some money in the game. Uh, you're not making like really a lot of money in the game, but I guess it's still good. Once I'm going to get the tacos, I can definitely put them in the trash and send them to the trash bear for sure. So you know what? Let me call this phone number and get myself some tacos then. Uh, let's go for the phone number here. Uh, to do electronics. Shopping Bonanza. That's the phone that I got a call. There we go. That's why I have my TV on on the Shopping Bonanza channel every single day. All right, and we ordered. Unfortunately, we're also paying 30, of course, for the transport, but that's good enough. All right, let me eat up real fast. And when you're eating stuff, make sure you don't eat the oranges, for example, or uh, uh, or the golden fish, because you do need to sell those. And eating them would be a big mistake, because you're going to lose a lot of money if you do. Uh, next up, we're going to have our puppy, of course, that we got to get to level 17 next. I'm going to keep on upgrading him, even if he's going to get downgraded sometimes, because, of course, he's not going to be able to eat some types of food. I still want to upgrade him as much as possible. Uh, there you go. This is an apple, buddy. One apple a day, keep the doctor away. <laughs> uh, not the orange. That's money. I don't want you to eat my money, buddy. Just eat food. There we go. And this one as well. Feel free to eat it. And that should be it. Uh, do I have anything in my fridge that I gotta go ahead and... Oh my god, look at all the oranges! Yes, we have a lot of food in our fridge. Uh, these oranges are gonna be sold to the vitamin C guy, of course. All of them. All, every single one of the oranges are going to be sold. Probably going to just make my way to the mountain, sell it, and then uh, fast travel somewhere else. Uh, since we do have the ability to fast travel, of course, to the mountain. And now uh, we don't need the oranges. Uh, the reason I have so many oranges in my fridge is because I was getting ready for the previous update. Because I knew that something important is going to be happening with the oranges. I just didn't know exactly what's going to be very important about them. But, uh... If you guys have seen the ending of Sneaky Sasquatch, you guys should know right now uh, why you need the oranges. Or more like why the oranges are important. You don't really need them, but they are important. Right now, uh, my question is, could I maybe cook s'mores on this one? I'm pretty sure I can, right? Oh, this one is full. Um, oh god, I do see the s'more back there. And I'm going to try to cook it and see if uh, you can also cook it on these grills. I know that you can cook it on the fireplace, right? But um, since we don't have a fireplace around, as it's raining, I'm just going to try to cook it on the grill and see if this one is also going to be uh, considered sold. Let me just get it charred. I'm pretty sure the guy at the golf course just loves it charred. <laughs> and black smoke is coming out, which means it is charred. So let's keep it going. Hey guys, don't mind me. I'm just going to take the golf cart back to the golf course. And the funny thing about it is that I'm actually going to take it to the golf course. <laughs> Alright, so now that we got to the golf course, we're not going to be able to play any golf, of course, because it is rainy today. But, I am going to be able to make some money by simply selling this fella. Uh, what he's requesting. Hopefully, he's going to be here, right? Although it's raining, he might not be here. Oh, no, he is. There we go. Hey, I tell ya, hitting gold balls all day leaves me a serious energy deficiency. I need some chocolate and the marshmallows smushed between two uh, ground crackers. That's right, I need s'mores. And I'll pay extra if they're authentic. That means they gotta be cooked over a campfire. 
Oh, those more smell amazing. I'll give you 30 for all of them. Now, I think if I'm not mistaken, the s'mores were not cooked on the campfire. That's why he only gave me 30. If I were to uh, cook him on the campfire, um, he would have given me 60. And because I just cooked them on a grill, they were not authentic, right? So yeah, that's why he didn't really pay me the top dollar for it. That's fine, because uh, we at least seen another strategy to make some more money. Uh, I'm going to have to come back, of course, to this area to do some golfing once it's not going to be raining anymore. But until the rain is going to stop, let's see, what other strategies we have? Uh, I think i got to make my way to the strip mall then. So, let me jump on one of these. And let me drive to the strip mall. Actually, let me jump on one of these. It's going to be more fun to ride. Alright, now before I'm going to make my way, of course, to the strip mall, we also have more money we can make over here. At the racetrack, of course. So, let me keep on riding a little bit. Now, at the racetrack, we do have quite a bit of missions to do, quite a bit of races you can do. You can go ahead and uh, do the dirt bike races, but the mission that I consider the best and the one that I recommend all of you do is the muscle truck races because you're actually getting 500 coins every single time you're finishing the muscle truck races. And the thing about it is that you can actually finish up one of those muscle truck races in about one minute and a half or something like that, or maybe two minutes, depending on how fast you move. And that is definitely one of the best strategies you can use to make a lot of money in the game. If I'm not mistaken, you can actually do about six of those races in one day if you're fast enough, of course. Uh, which means you're gonna get yourself about 3,000 coins every single day. And that is definitely worth it. And get to do the muscle truck races, which are gonna be these ones right here. Now, as you guys can see, there are quite a lot of them, but these ones are gonna pay the most. And uh, you can actually do these ones quite fast. There we go. Of course, you're gonna need a muscle truck in order to do this mission. Now, if you don't have a muscle truck uh, and cannot afford one, I do recommend you guys go ahead and uh, pay 150 coins in order to uh, borrow the muscle truck from the dude that the uh, races around here, right? Uh, you are paying some money to get the muscle truck, but the thing is, you're only paying 150 coins, and in return, you're getting 500 coins, right? Once you finish it, so it's definitely worth it. And you're also gonna have the ability to do the mission multiple times. So in one day, if you do get 3,000 points for only paying 150, it's definitely worth it in my opinion. And by doing these missions multiple times, you will eventually get better and better at it. Uh, which means you're going to find a better strategy in order to uh, finish these, squashing these cars faster than I am right now. All right, come on, and jump. Squash, and... Oh, I missed one. Gosh dang it, dude. I missed one. I gotta do the jump again. Uh, actually, I have this one and another car that I missed somewhere else, so I gotta go and search for it. All right. Apparently, I didn't squash one car somewhere. I'm not quite sure exactly where. Is he here? No. Is he here? No. What? Is it this one? No. Hmm. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, you gotta pay attention when you're squashing these cars. You gotta pay attention to you squashing every single one of them. Or else you're gonna just waste some time. Now, let me try to do this one one more time. But this one I'm gonna try to do it a little bit better. Uh, by also taking the right path. Making sure I'm not gonna mess it up. As I was saying, if you do kind of play this a lot. You are eventually gonna learn which is the best path to take. In order to finish up the mission as fast as possible. And also make sure you pay attention to the cars. Make sure you squash every single one of them. Because if you miss one, it's going to be pretty difficult to actually find it back again. And you're going to lose a lot of time of the day. Go. Turn around. This is kind of the path that I'm taking when I'm doing these missions. And it kind of works for me, to be honest. I did manage to take this path and uh, do six of these tracks every single day. And get myself 50,000 coins a day. There we go. That was pretty fast, in my opinion. So early in the morning, if you make your way over here and keep on doing these missions on and on and on, you are going to be able to do it uh, six times. And so, yeah, that's a lot of coins you're going to be able to get. Now, next up, since it is nighttime, we're not going to be able to do any more missions. So let me go ahead and reset the day again. 
get some sleep, and early in the morning, carry on with making more money using all the strategies that the game has offered. And not to mention, we're getting the taco delivery. There we go. Uh, we gotta make our way to the golf course though, because that is something we haven't done. Uh, playing golf is not a great way to make money though, because it takes a lot of time to play golf, to finish up the golf races. Uh, let me sign this for 20 tacos. <laughs> There we go. Uh, we have 20 tacos. Now, I'm not going to place them in the trash just yet. And the reason I'm not going to place them in the trash... Uh, what is this guy selling? Ooh. Well, that's not really expensive fish. I'm going to grab it. Uh, the reason I'm not going to pay the uh, place the uh, tacos in the trash just yet is because I don't have any more inventory space. So, let me get rid of uh, not that buddy. As I was saying, you got to pay attention to what you're eating. You do not want to eat the expensive stuff by mistake. Alright, let me leave some food for my puppy here as well. We'll add it. Which is not gonna be the tacos. So I gotta pay attention not to grab the tacos here. Because I'm not gonna be able to put them back in my backpack if I do. Alright, that should be enough. Let me also give him a little bit of affection here. As I was saying, we gotta get into level 17 eventually. Come on, buddy. Good boy. And while we're at it, I'm also giving him a little bit of food here. But the problem is, grabbing the food without grabbing any tacos is going to be a little bit of an issue. Alright, that'll do for now, buddy. That'll do. Alright, we're finally going to be able to play a little bit of golfing. As I was saying, this is definitely not the best strategy to make some money in the game because it just takes way too long uh, to play these matches. And the reward is really not that much. So... Um, we are going to do the first one here. This one is just going to be 100 coins, but it's the one that's going to take the least. Uh, this one is 9 holes. It's going to take quite a bit. And also winning that, it's not easy either. Now, because I'm playing with a controller here, I'm actually going to choose to play with the mouse. Because playing golfing with a controller is a really bad idea. As you cannot really aim properly with it. So that's why I'm choosing to play with the mouse instead. Come on, buddy. Let me see what you got. Oh, God. You're going to lose this like crazy. <laughs> I mean, look at him. What the heck? And he finally got it. All right. And I'm also going to get it like about there. Uh, seriously? Uh, I should have done it. That's fine. There we go. Alright, next up, we got the hole at the top. I'm going to shoot this one right in that tree over there. Once I actually did the hole in one over here by simply bouncing the ball off of that tree, it was amazing. But uh, I only had it once. I never managed to actually duplicate that strategy. Come on, buddy. We almost got this. All right. And next up, I'm going to bounce it right over here. There we go. And lastly, we got hole three. Uh, let me try to get this one in hole in one. Although, got to position it right. So, got to position it over here. And it has to bounce about over here, I think. Ah, uh, nah. It had to be a little bit closer. That was pretty close, though. Yeah. Oh, God. He did the same thing I did. All right. Awesome. We got a few more a few more coins here, but unfortunately, as I was saying, not the best way to make a lot of money in the game. Um, it takes quite a while to win one of these golfing matches, um, especially the last one, which is the Pro Tournament one. That one requires a lot of time as well, and I don't think it's worth it at all. So, uh, I did see quite a lot of mushrooms on the golf course. So let me go ahead and collect all of them before we leave to the next section where we can make a lot of money in the game. 
Uh, of course, you can also go ahead and do the missions for the um, fox. The fox does spawn in from time to time, so well, Addy, you know what? Let me go ahead and do it. Why not? Since we are checking out all the ways you can make some money in the game, why not also check this one out as well? All you gotta do is just shoot these balls away from the players, mess with them. Ruin their games, I guess. Uh, do we have any more marshmallows around here? I don't see any more. I think there is a ball over here we can actually go ahead and hit away. <laughs> there we go. That's two out of three. I think I can hit it again. Nope. I can only hit it once, of course. Mushrooms! Yes, please. Uh, I'm just looking for more balls right here, but I don't see any more. What the heck? Is anybody playing or what? Yeah, I think these fellas just made their way to ball 7, so let me wait for this fella to shoot. Oh god! He shot it so far away. I think you went into the trees here, yeah. So let me shoot this one away as well. There we go. Got ourselves 156. Not bad. So that is definitely another way to make some money in the game, to earn some money in the game. Not the best one, of course, because those foxes don't really spawn in every single day. Uh, they do spawn in from time to time. But uh, there we go. Since we're talking about all the ways you can make some money in the game, good thing that we had the fox spawn again. 